as I say, we want the best happiness for everybody. Now, about my still to me mysteriously controversial comment that I hope President Obama fails. I was watching the Super Bowl. And as you know, I love the Pittsburgh Steelers. They had this. Uh, it's just. So they have, they have this miraculous scoring drive that puts them up by four. Fifteen seconds left. Kurt Warner on the field for the Cardinals. And I sure as heck want you to know, I hope he failed. I did not want the Cardinals to win. I wanted Warner to make the biggest fool of himself possible. I wanted a sack. I wanted anything. I wanted the Steelers to win. I wanted to win. I wanted the Cardinals to fail. This notion that I want the president to fail, folks, this shows you a sign of the problem we've got. That's nothing more than common sense and to not be able to say it. Why in the world do I want what we just described, rampant government growth, indebtedness that has been, wealth that is not even being created yet is, is, is being spent. What is in this? What possibly is in this that any of us want to succeed? Of course, did, the, did the Democrats want the war in Iraq to fail? Yes. Well, they certainly did. And they not only wanted the war in Iraq to fail, they proclaimed it a failure. There's dingy Harry Reid raving a white flag. This war is lost. <laughs> this war... They called General Petraeus a liar before he even testified. <laughs> Mrs. Clinton... <laughs> said she had to suspend, willingly suspend disbelief or whatever to listen to Petraeus. We're in the process of winning the war. The last thing they wanted was to win. They hoped George Bush failed. So where is it? What, what is so strange about being honest and saying, I want Barack Obama to fail if his mission is to restructure and reform this country so that capitalism and individual liberty are not its foundation. Why would I want that to succeed? <laughs> now, let me add a caveat here. My friends, I know, I know what's going on. I know, it's, I know what's going on. We're in the, um, we're in the, the, the aspects here of a, an historic presidency. I know that. But let me be honest again. I got over the historical aspects of this in November. <laughs> president Obama is our president. President Obama stands for certain things. I don't care. He could be a Martian. He, he, could, be, he, he could be from... Michigan. I don't like I'm just kidding. Doesn't, doesn't matter to me what his race is. It doesn't matter. He's liberal is what matters to me. And his articulated, his articulated plans scare me. Now I understand, okay, we can't say we want the president to fail. Mr. Limbaugh, that's like saying, this is the voice of the new Castrati, by the way, guys that have lost their guts. I want, I want the country to su survive as we have known it, as you and I were raised in it, is what I mean. Now, I have been called, and I can take it. Look, pioneers take the arrows. I don't mind what anybody says about me. Anytime, ever, it doesn't, I don't have time for it. I don't give other people the power to offend me, and you shouldn't either. By the wasted time being offended. Don't let... But... I mean, I, there's some people you, you just... You can't, you can't, you can't say that you want the president to fail. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the United States, the Democrat Party has actively not just sought the failure of Republican presidents and policies, and now wars for the first time. The Democrat Party doesn't stop at failure. 
talk to Judge Robert Bork, talk to Justice Clarence Thomas about how they try to destroy lives, reputations, and character. And I'm supposed to say, I don't want the president to fail? in for a real battle. We are talking about the United States of America, and there will always be an America, don't misunderstand, but we're talking about it remaining, the country we were all born into and reared and grown into. And it's under assault, it's always under assault, but it's never been under assault like this from within before. And it's a serious, serious battle. So as you leave here, as, as, as you leave here, optimism, confidence, not guilt, it's not worth it, there's nothing to be guilty about. Don't treat people as children, respect their intelligence, realize that there's a way to persuade people, sometimes the worst way is get in their face and point a finger. They set up a set of circumstances where the conclusion's obvious, let them think they came up with the idea themselves, then they'll think they're smart, that they figured it out, who cares? How you persuade them, the fact that they can be persuaded is factually correct, it's possible. But the main thing to do here, stop thinking that we are a minority. Stop thinking, stop, th stop thinking that it is being in the minority that liberates you. It is your beliefs, it is your core principles, it is your confidence that liberates you. It is not being in the minority. We, in fact, for those of you watching my first national address, if you're still hanging in there, uh, we really not that happy about being a minority and we're out to change it. Now, so, I have, uh, I've gone over my allotted time by an hour. I, I, I want to thank all of you so much for everything that you um, have meant to me and my family thank you. in my life. Thank now wait, you. see, no, well, it's, I understand it's mutual, and I, I hear people. You have, you, have, you have made my heart grow so much that it barely fits in my chest cavity here tonight. <laughs> uh, but uh, the, the things that, that, by virtue of your listening to my radio show and being active in this movement that we all cherish and love, uh, you have meant more to me, my family, and my life than whatever it is I might mean to you, even though I know that's considerable. Uh, <laughs> you, still, you still can't, you can't outdo the absolute joy and awe and thanks I feel for all of you. The fact, I've been doing this for 20 years and the numbers just keep growing and I can't tell you how appreciative I am and proud to be in a movement with the same passions, desires and core beliefs that all of you have because we know that it's right for the country and we know it's right for people. It's not something that has to be forced on them. It's not something that has to be authoritatively pressed on them. We are what is. And that's why we are an enemy, because we're effective. The people that do want control uh, look at us as the enemy. We're always going to be. Don't ever measure your success by how many drive-by media reports you see that are fair to us. Never going to happen. Don't measure your success by how many people like you. Just worry about how they vote. Amen. And then, at the end of the day, how they live. But that's really none of your business once they close the doors. Thank you all very much. It's been great. Hey, that's what it's all.